friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of my home decorated for Valentine's Day. I didn't go completely crazy for Valentine's Day. I kept it pretty simple and clean, but let's just show you what I've done. It is a snowy day here in upstate New York. We are getting yet another snowstorm. So it is snowing in the background. Um, but anyhow, in my formal living room, I have a little touch of Valentine on my coffee table that is out here. Now this coffee table is actually one that was downstairs in our um, finished basement. We swapped coffee tables. We used to have a large square glass coffee table up here um, prior to Christmas, but because we had the Christmas tree up here, um, it was a little bit too big, so we brought this one up and used this one instead. I really like this coffee table. Um, I might revamp it come this spring. I was thinking about painting it gold, which I'm all about the gold lately. So that might happen. That might be another DIY. But on that table, I just have a really cute little quick dollar store arrangement that I put together with some red and light pink and white roses. Then I have these really cute candles on these glass candlesticks. The glass candlesticks came from um, Yankee Candle and I've had them for a few years. I really love them. I love that you can mix lots of different colors with them and use them season after season. The little candles came from Dollar General. I love these little candles. They are so sweet. They are white jasmine and chamomile. They smell so good. I've actually bought quite a few of them. I use them in my bathroom upstairs. Just a little bit of pink and red in here. Um, then just little small pops of red. I put a few little roses in one of my lanterns over there. I have a couple of pillows on this chair. Um, a heart pillow that came from, I believe that one came from Home Goods last year, and then the Love You, Love You More pillow came from Target Dollar Spot. Then over here in the corner, I just have a simple table in the corner. I like to keep this area for like our pictures and stuff. However, after Christmas time, I have yet to put a lot of my pictures back up on my table. So I kind of just kept this simple. Also, I have my DIY lantern. Now that DIY lantern has been through a lot. It's one of the first DIYs that I posted to my channel. Um, I usually decorate it every season and I kind of move it around the house. However, it is starting to show its wear. Um, it was made from all dollar store supplies. I'm planning on pulling that apart, repainting it, revamping it just a little bit um, and updating it. And I will be posting a video on what I do to that um, at some point here soon too. But for right now, I just sat have some battery operated candles in there. I also have a little battery operated set of string lights um, with some flowers and then just a little love sign that I kind of just stuck in the back for color. Nothing like uh, nothing super great with it this year um, but just you know to add a little extra pop of red color to this table area. Um, and then on the wall on my mirror right next to it is the um, farmhouse style heart shaped wreath that I just did. I am in love with this wreath. This is gorgeous. I'm going to use this right throughout Valentine's Day, right into spring. I think it is just so pretty. Eventually, once the weather gets nicer, this is going to go out on my front door. But for now, it's on my mirror here in my formal living room. I did use this for our wine party we had it open the guys were out here um, you know after they had sampled wine they were out here making drinks so this is how I just had it for our Valentine wine party I do have the little Valentine um, wooden uh, trays that I got from Target Dollar Spot with a pop of red and pink in the um, little napkins there and I just think it's just simple, elegant, really cute. This bar cabinet is so functional now. I love it. We got so much use out of it. Everybody who's been here to our house loves it. Going into my dining room. Now, 
We don't use this room very often. Um, occasionally we will have dinners in here as a family, but a lot of times we kind of just hang out in our family room. But this is my dining room. And again, I didn't go overboard. I kept it pretty simple with just little pops of pink and red. Um, but I just think it is so gorgeous. You can see the snow in the background. We're supposed to get like 12 to 18 inches. This is my setup that I did this year gorgeous I love the gold I just love it's just simple and elegant and just this is completely my style um, it goes so nice with my little um, buffet table over there and as you can see this is what I did for a place setting I found these gorgeous gold charger plates at Tuesday morning um, they were a little bit pricey I want to say they were like four or five ninety nine a piece which is a little bit more than what I usually pay for like a plastic charger plate but I loved the detail work around the edge of these and I will definitely be able to use these for more than just Valentine's obviously um, then what I did was this is actually a velour um, like printed uh, fabric that I bought from Hobby Lobby on clearance. It was a dollar a yard. So I bought a yard of it. I thought it was gorgeous. I love the color. And then all I did was I cut it into squares and used it as a nap. Um, these are my dishes that I purchased before Christmas time. They're actually um, a Mikasa dish. Both of these are a matching set. I bought them from Home Goods, like I said, just prior to Christmas and they were a really good price. I love that they were white. They do have like um, a berry type of print on it, but I think it would work seasonally. I don't think it's just for Christmas. Um, I just think they're really, really gorgeous. Then these really cute little swans. I found these little glass swans at a thrift store in my area. They were all glass, they were 99 cents a piece, and I bought four of them. They had more, but I only bought four. And then I did the liquid gold leafing on just the head portion of the swan. And then I just stuck a little faux rose in there and just set it down on my plate. I think those are so sweet, so pretty, um, and very inexpensive. Then another purchase that I got from my local thrift store were these little wine they're like a small little wine glass they are crystal um, and again these were 99 cents a piece from my thrift store the only thing that I did to them I did the liquid gold leaf on the very bottom of the glass just to give it that extra little pop of gold to kind of go with the rest of my gold decor so that is my place setting um, these are the two um, DIY, these are the two dollar store DIY centerpieces that I did a video for. And anything that I've sh shown in this video, I will try to post the link for in the description below. So those are the two DIYs. These gorgeous little candle holders were somewhat of a splurge. I just bought them um, a couple weeks ago prior to our wine party. They came from Tuesday morning. I think that they were like $12.99 a piece. I loved them though. I think they're just so pretty. I love that little rhinestone detail on the top. It goes all the way around. Um, and again, I'll be able to use this for more than just one season. I think I'll be able to carry that through multiple seasons. But really, really gorgeous. Then over here on my buffet, um, this wreath that is up here is a wreath that I usually keep pretty much year-round up there and then I decorate it seasonally. So this time I just took a dollar store foam heart and kind of just stuck it in the middle and then I had some really pretty um, hearts that are I purchased I think from... I think I purchased those hearts from Target maybe last year. So I kind of just strung that garland up and around my mirror. Then um, this is more of that fabric that I got for a dollar a yard. Again, it's a gorgeous fabric. Um, I just draped it over the front of my buffet here and kind of folded it under so that way you couldn't see the edge. Um, I definitely could go ahead and sew it so that it has a nice seam to it, but I figured you can't even tell the difference. So. Um, 
This is that little cake dish that I got from Tuesday morning and I gold leafed the bottom portion. It used to be like a silver um, and I loved that. I loved the shape of it, but I wanted it to match with the rest of my kind of gold pieces. So I did do that. And then underneath it is one of the gorgeous little um, blush colored dishes that came from Hobby Lobby on clearance and it has a little gold rim. So I just kind of stuck that little cake dish on top. And then over here are more dishes that I used from our party. Again, I just kind of stuck them here um, just because I didn't really have another place to put them and they kind of go with the rest of the decor. Um, then in the center, I put together this little cloche um, it is not glued together. It is literally just kind of stuck together. Um, underneath is a white cake stand. I use that year round. On top, this little gold um, piece right here, I found this from Dollar General. It is a wall plaque. It's plastic, but it's a gorgeous gold color, and it was $3. And I saw it, and I was like, you know what? I will definitely be able to use that for some sort of table decor. So then I just took one of my little glass vases, flipped it upside down. I hot glued a little drawer pull and then painted it gold to the top and made like a cloche with some flowers underneath it. Um, so really simple, easy, very inexpensive, and I think it just looks really cute over in this area. All right, and then on the wall over here, there's those lights that I redid. Um, I added the little crystal um, pieces that are hanging and I um, did the gold foil, liquid gold foil to them, one on each side. It just goes so much nicer with our decor now. As you can see, here's kind of another view from our dining room into our formal living room. Over in the corner here, I have my little wine cart. And this is where I kept all of my wine glasses and my bottle opener and my decanter and um, every like kind of accessory that we needed for our wine party. I actually rolled this cart out into the kitchen, but it's decorated the same as it was for our party. Um, there's that cute little gold colored two-tiered stand where I put all of the little wine glasses these are those stemless wine glasses that came from the Target dollar spot. Um, I bought a bunch of them. I actually let a few of my guests take them home, the ones that wanted to, because I had quite a few of them. Um, but then I did end up keeping some just so that way I could, you know, have them for Valentine's Day, you know, on display in my home. Um, so that's just kind of what it looks like. I have it a little heart from the dollar store down on the bottom shelf. I have these cute little hearts. These came from Target Dollar Spot also. I did have candy in these and they were just kind of set um, here for people to just have a little candy if they wanted to. And then I have this cute little candle. This is one of the candles that I got from Target Dollar Spot. Didn't light that one. I lit some of the other ones, but not that one. And then in the back, I just put some of those little gold um, vase filler hearts in a nice little um, glass jar in the back. And then that is my aerator. And I just sat that on a little, um, I gold leafed one of the um, glass candle holders from the dollar store. And I just flipped it upside down. And then I just sat our decanter right on there just that way it was off of the table, um, you know, for people to use for the wine. So that is that little cart. Now let's show you the kitchen. All right, so my kitchen is where we did the wine party. And so most all of our guests were hanging out here in the kitchen area and in the family room area. This is the room that we actually spend the most time in. We're here like 85% of the time we're home. We're all kind of out here hanging out. So I don't have a ton of Valentine decor in the kitchen. I have one little spot right over here on my countertop that I did do up with a few of the little Valentine pieces. Two little Valentine candy dishes that I did a DIY for, and I will try to link the video for that in the description below. Um, but I just also put one of these cute little gold love signs or these little ceramic love pieces that came from the dollar store on this really gorgeous little white tray. Um, this, these vases are like, I keep all year long. I keep them either in my kitchen or in my family room. I love the color. Um, so these are here all the time. And then I kind of just added a few Valentine pieces to them. 
Um, this is one of those little, um, it says live, laugh, love. This came from the dollar store and I just put some Valentine M&Ms in there. You can see we grab a handful of them every so often. And then I just did some other little Valentine candies in this one right here. And I just did like a Valentine a vase filler in that one just for the color. So that is one little area that has a pop of Valentine color. Also, I did Valentine, um, and you will see in a previous haul video that I posted, um, these super cute little Valentine kitchen towels. So I put one on my stove and then I also put the other one over here on my dishwasher. Um, so that is honestly just about all that I do in my kitchen for Valentine decor. I do have a little love sign with a candle um, on my island, but we use this all the time. This is like one of the only times that this island is actually clean without anything on it. And most of the time there's tons of stuff on it and you know, people are, you know, preparing stuff. Like Alyssa's got homework out here. Jameson leaves juice boxes out here. We're cooking or I'm doing DIYs or whatever. So I did clean up. So this is like one of the only times that this room is clean. So that's why we're doing a tour now. All right, so into my actual family room. Again, you can see there's the snow out back. You can kind of get a glimpse of where our pool was uh, buried underneath that snow out there. But yeah, there is a pool out there. And we do have a pergola, but it is covered in snow. I can't wait till the snow is gone. Um, but this is where we kind of all just hang out pretty much on a daily basis. And this is where a lot of my guests kind of hung out during our wine tasting party. Um, up on the mantle, I kept it really simple. Again, I did a DIY for those little gold leafed um, vases. They all came from the dollar store. And those gorgeous little tea lights kind of flickering um, just in between them. Then down here, I have my tall lanterns. These lanterns are usually out back on my patio but I don't want to have them outside in the bad weather so I did bring them in and I put some battery operated candles in them and just a few little pieces of greenery and some roses just for Valentine's Day so those are kind of sitting in front of my fireplace on my table now you can see Jameson's fingerprints everywhere because this is his play table um, on my table I did a little arrangement which is really cute and you will also notice that that tray on the inside I got from the Tuesday morning store. I love that tray. It is so gorgeous. I thought it was just too pretty to not keep on display with like gorgeous Valentine's things. So I just did a little arrangement. Um, also, there's another little candy dish here. This is from Target Dollar Spot. And I put little Valentine candies out here. And I had this open for people for our party as well. And I did have all of these little tea lights lit. So there's another little um, Dollar Spot candle and then a little Dollar Spot pink bird, which I used a glass um, vase, flipped it upside down and did another little door, drawer pull on the top of that to make kind of like a makeshift cloche. So that is my table. And then I do have a few little pops of red in my lanterns over here. I have a, a white lantern on this side and another white lantern on this side. And I just put a little, like a few little red faux roses in there just for a little pop of floral. And this right here is my work spot. Whenever I'm on my laptop or doing any like work that I can do while I'm not up in my office or in my studio. I am like right here. I love to sit and look outside, I have my laptop over there. I have my little bin with all of my paperwork and stuff down here. And um, I put that gorgeous little ivory and pink heart throw that came from Target. I put one down here and there's another one up on our bedroom up on our bed um, in our bedroom upstairs. So that's another little pop of Valentine here in my family room. And then the last little pop of pink, I'll give you one final kind of view. I have um, these candles right here. There's one here and then one up here near our um, Buddha girl here. Um, 
Those candles are the gorgeous candles that came from Target. I got those on clearance for like $5 a piece. They are so pretty and they smell amazing. So that is my family room. Now the last spot where I did have a little bit of Valentine decor is in our guest bathroom, which is just off of the family room. And as you will see, it's just a simple half bath. Um, I have another wreath on the wall up here with a little heart, a foam heart from the dollar store. And then I do have a little table that I did another like dollar store arrangement. And in the background, there is one of our DIYs. That is the shadow box Valentine DIY that I did a couple years ago with my girlfriend and Alyssa. And I will post the video for that um, in the description below as well. So I kind of displayed that in here. Um, I have some really pretty kind of Valentine-esque um, hand wash and lotion just for our guests for Valentine's Day. But yeah, that's it. Really simple. So that is my home. Um, I will probably keep this up just until Valentine's Day or just until after Valentine's Day and then we will start decorating for spring, which I cannot wait. Anyhow, hope you guys have a great rest of your afternoon and we'll see you real soon. Take care.